hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a spontaneous, well, not spontaneous at all. It's, it's entirely planned. It's been planned for a long time. But it's an unusual Sunday stream. Um, it is D&D today, uh, which is very exciting. Been looking forward to for a very long time. Mostly Skyrim themed, so it is thematically consistent, uh, especially with the channel that I'm streaming it in. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be really fun. I have no idea what's going to happen because I'm not in charge at all. Um, it is being hosted by the wonderful Ninja, who I'm hoping you will be able to hear. Say hello, Ninja. Hiya, you all right? <laughs> there you go. It works. And also hey. playing with us today, we have Nuna. Hello. There we are. And we have Morgan. Hello. Excellent. I think it's all working. Um, do let me know, people watching, if at any point people's audio levels aren't what they need to be, because I can increase or decrease my sound relative to them. I want this all to be more or less matched. But uh, but yeah, it should be great. So we're going to be streaming. Um, I'm going to be streaming this through D and D Beyond and Roll Twenty, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen with you so you guys can see what's going on for all of that and uh yeah it's gonna be great so uh take it away ninja what are we doing well let me let me open my introduction document <laughs> fantastic well to begin with i would like you all to imagine a time maybe a different reality a different universe a little ways into the future where we've all gathered for a certain someone's five-year anniversary. That's right, it's Lucian's fifth birthday, and someone, a very mysterious benefactor, has covered all of the costs for those able to attend. Hotel and travel fees, spending money, even a place for us to have our party. It seems like someone really likes our favourite follower mod. We can't help but be grateful to whoever this person may be. But at the end of the day, what matters most is that we're all there. We're having a grand time, and no one has snuck anything into their backpack. Their backpack is not moving! It's fine, I promise! But the inevitable does happen. A little dumb boy in a dragon harness breaks free after having a nap and goes around socialising with his parent. This is fine. Who could have expected anything like this to happen? Definitely not me, the culprit. But it's a nice surprise nonetheless, and pets are allowed at this location, wherever this location might be. But despite the sudden appearance of the cat, the party continues. Fun times are had, gifts are given and stories are told, times are reminisced upon. And eventually it's time for the cake, which of course is a giant sweet roll. We have to keep on theme. But the weird thing is, is that Custard starts growling as soon as the cake is wheeled out on a trolley. He's never been angry before, which is a shocking surprise to those that know him. Something about the cake is bad in his very dumb eyes. And before anyone can stop him, he slips his harness and body slams the glowing cake. Everyone around the cake, Joseph, Nuna, Morgan, Custard and Ninja, we don't have a chance to react before the glow becomes all encompassing and we're blinded by an incredibly bright flash of red light before you're all falling. I would like you all to make a perception check. Ooh, 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 okay, dice rolling. Right, yes. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot I actually had to do things, and it's not just listening to a story. 17. I, I have, I have dice. 18 for Morgan, okay. Uh, four. Oh dear. I do not perceive. <laughs> I do not see it. <laughs> I just need to make these notes down before I forget. Oh, good point, Nuna. We didn't ping. We need to ping. Do the ping. ping didn't the ping. Because I'm a fool. Um, Nuna, let me go back to my notes so I can close my introduction document. Okay, it's starting... very exciting, Ninja. <laughs> Yay. But yes. It's very strange as you're all falling. It's like you're stuck in some kind of wormhole. It's kind of very Doctor Who-ish. Joseph, at the end of this very crazy trip, all you can see is a very blue kind of cloudy sky above you, but 
you're too dazed, you can't focus on anything because that was like one of the worst roller coaster rides. It was horrible. Nuna, you go through the same thing, but you recover from the experience very quickly, as does Morgan, with how high you both rolled, and everything immediately hits you so quick that it's almost as dizzying as the trip itself. That's not a typical British sky. It was probably <laughs> raining that day, but it's a very nice summery, cloudy-ish day in... Where is this? Where? You know that tavern. You know the blacksmith. You know the bridge. Why is Lucian and Davith slash Ufka the Unbroken laid across from you all. This doesn't make sense. Why are you all trapped in different bodies that aren't your own? Why are you completely in a place that shouldn't reasonably exist? Why can you hear Custard meowing? <laughs> Where has he gone? <laughs> but, yeah. It, it takes Joseph a couple minutes, maybe, to recover, and eventually Joseph also catches up. Things aren't right. This physical form that you have is not your own, and everything is weird. And as Morgan and Nuna will notice in Riverwood, it is silent most of the surrounding foliage and trees have vanished like as if someone has just come through and ripped them all up and taken them away the sleeping giant in itself is torn into half of the ceiling has caved in and vines have begun to crawl in crawl out it's very difficult to know but currently at the moment the most pressing issue to think about is what are you all doing here? Whose bodies are you possessing? And where's Custard? Because all you can really hear is him yelling in distress on top of some roof somewhere. Ooh. And for context, I shall move you all to the Riverwood map. Ooh! I can see it. Map time. It's very dark. Yes, I can. I can <laughs> reveal areas. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not like we reveal roll twenty behave. There we go. <laughs> but, yep. Ooh, we can see in a straight line. Straight line, <laughs> and you eventually see that custard's up on the blacksmith's roof, <gasps> just screaming custard, away. What are you doing up there? Dead. But yes, that's all I'll reveal for the moment. Oh. Besides this part as well. It's very exciting. <laughs> oh, but that that that's really not good. That that's not how it's supposed to look. That's no. broken. So, what are you all doing whilst you're laid in the crossroad? Whimpering? <laughs> I'm probably putting a hand up to rub my face and going, wait. Because that's definitely not my hand. That's definitely am... not your face either. And I am yeah. taller than <laughs> yeah. I have ever been. <laughs> so am I, come to think of it. <laughs> And also very specifically as well, Nuna, it feels like your forehead could be used as a shelving unit. Yes, <laughs> finally, my true form. <laughs> the eyebrow ridges on this person are a delight. <laughs> <laughs> and I am I'm reaching a hand up to touch my face. And... Um, Surprise beard. My facial hair has... Never been this marvellous. 
<laughs> and that's almost my voice. But, um, ever so slightly posher than I'm used to. Only slightly. <laughs> <laughs> but the difference is there. Cool, blimey. That also sounds like my voice somehow, and yet not. <laughs> well, heck. <laughs> Said in a very specifically Nordic voice, but with very Philly undertones, which is quite the combination. But, yeah. Is... Is this... Is this a dream? Are you dream people? Honestly, maybe is it dream? this is this is something. Um, oh, well, that really clears game? it up. Thank you. I will put out the suggestion that if you all want to, you can roll an insight check. Oh, go Sounds on then. Good. Yeah. Good. I'll, I'll roll an insight check. Let's see. What's my uh, insight, insight? Insight plus two. Oh, that's gonna be good. I got a one oh. plus four. Five. Five. Oh, that's one. Insight. Seventeen. Somehow. I am not insightful. Sixteen there. Joseph, it's very much so been a very tiring day <laughs> having this party. It's been a great day in celebration of like all of your work and things. So this just has to be some kind of sweet roll cake induced fever dream. I can only assume it's that. Yeah. Uh, because it, if that's... I don't, if I didn't know better, I'd say this was Riverwood. It does look an awful lot like Riverwood, doesn't it? They really don't... let it go. Yeah. God Maybe it's Daniel. some mod. Yes, but 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 we're seeing it with our eyes. This this is not. I'm not wearing a headset, or it's not. It's not a screen. It's 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 in you... three dimensions. You weren't in Lucian cosplay before, were you? Oh, I wish I had Lucian cosplay. I'm, oh gosh, this fur is delightful. I think I think this might be. Uh, I think I think this is some weird hallucination, and I'm probably gonna wake up soon. But uh, in the meantime, um, hello. I'm I'm. I want to say I'm Lucian, but I don't think that's my name. In any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I'm expectantly holding out a hand for a handshake towards Daveth. I will shake that hand in a slightly confused sort of way. Yeah, I will say for Nuna and Morgan on how high they rolled, <laughs> it kind of feels like Every uh, yeah, it, there's no other way to say it. This is real. Yeah. Every, everyone has their own coping mechanism, so it's uh, at least Joseph Lucian isn't freaking out, which is it's all a nice dream. It's <laughs> just a nice, lovely, strange dream. It's a lovely dream. I'm just like, well, yay! I'm tall, but wait, isn't this someone who accidentally? got kicked out of the companions not my first pick <laughs> yay yeah it's it's definitely something that you can think about as much as you'd like but the recommendation is don't think about it too hard or maybe your brain might start pouring out your ears you don't know who who can really say but also whilst you're all interacting custard's meowing is getting very insistent and yes, I'm he... tall now. Do I want to try and help him with my new found tallness? But I haven't introduced myself to you yet. 
We but have lotion, to do mate. introductions and handshakes first. But Lucian is an upset cat. Oh, yes, Lucian, enough. I'm sorry. Give me one moment. I, I do There's... see your point. We can get to that later. But there is an upset cat, and I feel like that's also quite important. I suppose under the pressing circumstances, we yeah. can we can let some of the etiquette go. <laughs> uh, Margaret and I will say, give me an animal handling check. Awesome. This is a distressed, very dumb cat. He doesn't that really well. Ooh. And I, I have a plus one, so that's a 19. He's scared to the point that he knows that he needs to be with these people, so he just carefully makes his way up to the very edge of the roof. And considering how tall Ufgard is, it's very easy for him to just hop down onto your shoulder and then down onto the floor. Da -da -da -da. He's, still, he's still wearing his harness and he still has a lead on him. I think I will grab the lead just because Riverwood is not much of a wall and we don't need him getting too far. Yeah, he seems very, very content to just stay for the moment and relax. It's very odd as well, uh, continuing on from that very high and, um, animal handling check, Custard seems a bit different. It's just, it's just something. Don't know what, but... Ooh. He's at least being calm and cooperating, despite being a very dumb boy. And... I will also say that since you did stand up and move, Ufgard is carrying a very heavy backpack. Ooh. Oh, I'm back in high school. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those dreams. <laughs> um, also, Talwin has pointed out that this is a very literal animal handling check, in that you are quite literally handling him with your hands. <laughs> very appropriate. Very appropriate and very, very good, but um, it didn't roll low because, oh god, I don't want to know what Custard would have done. <laughs> We'd have our first boss battle. <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, I do have a... Actually, I don't know how that works, but... I apparently have speak with animals, so... Oh, that's good. Oh, we can have dialogue with Custard! <laughs> oh, well, now that's all sorted. Hello there, my name is Lucian Flavius. I think. It's all a little bit hazy. Who are you? I'm apparently Uthgird, but this isn't my home. I'm pretty sure I'm from elsewhere? No. Elsewhere? No, not, not that elsewhere. Oh, and elsewhere, so, elsewhere. Elsewhere other than elsewhere. I understand what you mean. I'm so glad you do, because <laughs> I don't. I, I will also say as well, very quickly, that now that you've all stood up and started moving around, all of your backpacks feel very heavy. Golly, my backpack feels that. very heavy. Well, this is nothing unusual for me, Davis Marvin, I suspect, on account of all the uh, useful articles I tend to carry around. But I will check, because that does feel even slightly heavier than what I might expect. It's... As, as soon as you go to open Davith's bag, um, besides the usual things that he'd grab, bowls, plates, cutlery, there's also a pair of rather jazzy wool socks that won't fit him. Um, he's got two pieces of paper and a lot of iron ore, iron ingots, and a few sacks that are just labelled in charcoal, saltpeter. It's an interesting combination hmm. of things. What's in my well, backpack? I can see why my backpack's so heavy now. In Lucian's inventory, it is completely baffling to what you'd normally expect. It's completely barren of the usual books and journals that you'd expect him to keep. 
Um, he has maybe one or two soul gems and a very big collection of bleeding crown mushrooms as well as two different letters one of which has a wax seal of a horse's head very reminiscent of white run and the other is attached to a very fine blue ribbon and it has a drawing on it what's the drawing of the drawing is a very well made picture of a silk strider of all things with two very small figures riding on it and underneath the drawing in block capitals with a really big arrow pointing to the strider it says she wanted to go for a walk do not believe the tall gits lies (laughs) but it's folded in half so there might be more writing inside this is a very interesting scenario (laughs) very specific things happening (laughs) I'm afraid to look at mine but I want yeah, to. what's in yours? Uh, Ufga just has the same combination of things that both Davith and Lucian have. A lot of iron, saltpeter, and bleeding crown mushrooms. And quite a fair bit of gold. Probably somewhere between about 300 to 500 gold pieces. Golly. And what does does uh, does Custard have a backpack? He does not, oh. as far as you can tell. He came out of a backpack. He didn't bring <laughs> the backpack <laughs> with him. <laughs> you have backpack exception. I was I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> he is. I, I, he will. I will definitely say he's very interested in the drawing that Lucian has in his in, in, has in his inventory. Can I show him the drawing? Yes, and he's very content to kind of just sit on it. Excellent. And show, sort of like, batter it a bit, because it's got more writing on the inside. Maybe I should open it and read the writing on the inside then. Yes, and it says, Lucian, look, I can't be bloody well babysitting her and her daft Khajiit friend for much longer. She tried to steal that silt strider. Give me a week to get my head on straight, and I'll pick her up from Dooms Bafar. Kaiden. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's... Who knows what situation Lucian has recently been in. It's very confusing. But there are three other documents left to read one of which is Lucian's and two of which are Davith's, so I will let you do as you wish with those. What if, what's your mail, Davith? That's a very good question, possibly, Lucian. Um, <laughs> I will have a look at my... What I've got? I've got two pieces of paper, you said? Yes, uh, one of I which will... is a schematic of an iron helmet. And Ooh. some potion bottles. And the other is just a very short list called Things to Legitimately Acquire. <laughs> food, snacks, cakes, finger foods, drinks, milk, tea, juice, maybe mead, maybe wine, keep it tasteful. Art supplies, paper, paint, inks, paintbrushes, wrapping parchment. Presents? Question mark? And that's it. Hmm. Quest objective. Acquire all things on Daveth's list. <laughs> boom boom. <laughs> Especially the tea. Absolutely the tea. Oh, I should have made myself a cuppa. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot. But, yeah, if you've looked through everything that you have is just a very confusing mix of things and oh i had a letter didn't i with a horse head on yes. it yes yes you do have your letter i would um, like to open my letter with the horse head on it it is simply titled the ingredients list ingredients desperately required bleeding crowns saltpeter Ooh. needed we have those 
any source of iron, smithed or raw, or for bonus, soul gems. These ingredients are of the utmost importance. I do not need to stress Whiterun's continued survival rests on your party's shoulders. Good luck, Parangar Secret Fire. I think we have a quest! I think we're almost done the quest. That's were... a nice change. Yes! We were nearly there! Should we sally forth? I don't think any of us is Sally. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe we Sally is the Caster? fourth member of our party. Oh. We should look for her. Yes. Let's split up and look for Sally. <laughs> everyone Is everyone splitting up and looking for clues? <laughs> I'm going to play with Custard. <laughs> Custard is very content for a little bit of affection before Aww. he gets he gets weird after a little bit it's, such a good boy he's a very good boy Aww. um and he seems rather keen to go investigating as well very specifically to the rather broken sleeping giants in but I would like you all to um, tell me where you are all splitting up and heading off to. Because so far from the looks of it, the only places that haven't been strangely overgrown with kind of dead plant matter are the Blacksmiths, the Sleeping Giant Inn, and the Riverwood Trader. I would like to follow the cat, please. He's going to the tavern. Is Davoth going anywhere specifically? I am having a slightly bad feeling about this because Davath has this strange, weird memory of another time and another place with something like this going on. But I... yeah, I'm going to follow as well. And I have the lead, so I, I have to. Custard <laughs> can only really like get five feet ahead of you at a time. So if you'd all like to move your tokens, I'll reveal more of them. Oh, can I move my... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is novel. <laughs> Come along! Follow the cat. Follow <laughs> the cat. He wants to go on an adventure. Custard <laughs> <laughs> is a lad with a plan. He's leading us into the dark. He is. And very specifically as well, um, the front door to the tavern has been left open like a jar and inside is just a mess it's like as if something giant has just come through and absolutely torn the entire place to shreds the giant woke up and was cranky yes well this is lovely are you coming it in Uthgerd? I think I will. Very quaint. Charming. I love what they've done with the place. Very the natural. very in right now. Yes, yes. Minimalist. Do we see anything else? Interesting. Um, first of all, to set the scene... Before I move on to something very critical. <laughs> no, Joseph, put your token back. I saw you move him. <laughs> to where? Move him back up. You moved Oh, back him. up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going on an adventure. Okay. <laughs> um, to say that the Sleeping Giant Inn is a mess is an understatement. Uh, the vines uh, are just fully hovering the most top part of the caved in roof sort of forming a curtain and as Lucian Joseph makes his way further towards the bar um, in the darkness you can see that there is just this ginormous mass of mushrooms that have just gathered Ooh. 
and they're breathing. That's unusual behaviour for mushrooms. They have this very strange red glow about them. And the next thing you know is that the mushrooms give off this ear-piercing shriek. One so loud that it... If you, if you weren't careful enough, it would... Probably pop some eardrums or not. Oh, it gosh. hurts a lot. Let me just... Uh, come on. Trying to get it to cooperate. Uh, layer token there. Yes. And Ooh. It won't open the character sheet that I need now. Heck. You made a character sheet for mushrooms. Mushrooms. I don't think they are normal mushrooms. No. They might make a lovely uh, stew. I, I have that sheet open and vines are open. Just and Ufgerd Morgan, the vines right next to you suddenly spring to life oh. and um. God, I cannot read. <laughs> this text is so tiny on my screen. Um, it's going to constrict. Oof, good. So I would like. Wait. Oh, gosh. No, wait. It's going to use entangling vines first. There we go. I can't read today. Um. I would like uh, Ufgerd to do a dex, not dexterity, a strength saving for a please. Well, that's rude. Yep. And very concerningly in the background as well. That is a 19 with my plus six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ufgerd just like shrugs them off. And let me just double check another creature on the map. Where is it? There it is. What's its speed? Ah, just 30 feet. And then you look behind you as. A giant hulking moss covered creature <laughs> leers in the doorway, Ooh. trapping you all in as a mushroom is constantly screaming. Uh, a vine mass is trying to do its best to just completely entangle whatever is in its grasp. And I would like you all to roll initiative. Ooh, boy. We're straight into it. Today. Maybe they all just want to talk. Suppose Lions wanted to give me a hug. Yeah. Oh, I'm rolling the wrong kind of d20. Should I be rolling ninja of your dice that you sent me? Should I be rolling the big one or the small one? Is there any difference? There's no difference. There's one's no difference. Just a okay. and one's just a normal dice. I rolled the big one. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a beetle. Does that mean twenty? Yes, I believe it yes. does. Cool. Uh, behold, well done. Is, I like that. Uh, so that's a twenty-four for Joseph altogether. Woot. Uh, Nuna got nine. a nine. Uh, what role did Morgan get? So that was a fourteen. I need to roll for all of my creatures. That's that one. And 
someone's late to the party. What? So it goes 24. People are admiring the dice. They are cool dice, aren't they? They were presents from Ninja. <laughs> dice are uh, such fun. Morgan, what is your dexterity Get modifier, by the way? Uh, my dex is... Uh, plus one. But I do have advantage on stuff that I can see, apparently. Um, let me check. I never remember with... Yep, Morgan, you have advantage on initiative. I did roll for that because I noticed on that. The other roll was much lower. Okay, right. Um, Joseph, the Morgan... And then Nuna... Gross. Okie dokie. Joseph, you're up first. I'm up first. It, yeah, what? it seems like everything's just in a very murderous mood. I would like to negotiate with the mushrooms. Please describe to me how you're going to do that. I have speak with plants. Now, are, are we counting mushrooms as plants? I will say in the context of this game, yes. Okay. I would like to attempt communication with the mushrooms. To say, um, it's all right, we're friends, calm down, it's all fine. Let's not escalate this any further. I will say give me a persuasion check. Okay, 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 hang on. Four! Plus, uh, eight. So, twelve. I need to roll three insights, then. <laughs> okay. It's one. I'm using my friendliest face. They... Very sincere smile. Having cast the spell and immediately reached out with a friendly introduction in a very tense moment. You can hear amongst the mushrooms constant shrieking. It has not stopped. It doesn't really seem to speak with words in reply with the spell. It's more so emotion. And that emotion is pure anger and hatred for the sight of you and your companions along with pain right That's... and the assassin vines next to Ufgard and the groff in the doorway all seem to try and join in in this just painful cacophony of Aww. just anger and pain well there go my next two turns of planning um <laughs> And I will say that has taken up your entire turn. That's fair enough. <laughs> and next go is the Mushroom Shrieker itself. Um, okay, where is the measuring tape? It... Just about... No, actually, it doesn't just about miss. No, wait. I'm trying to maths. Yeah, it... Wait. <laughs> My brain is struggling. <laughs> what did it say again? I cannot retain information. Um, You watch as the Shrieker tries to, like... It sort of regurgitates something. Like a very, very bright acidic kind of orb and it just splashes pathetically about 10 feet away from you Joseph right and it does nothing else but continue to scream its oh. attack 
they all. Well, that's quite sad, really. Poor Mushroom. It, it gave it its best shot, but it couldn't really do much. And it is now Morgan's go. Right. Well, having seen them react so poorly to Joseph's lovely attempt at diplomacy, and that it just tried to grab me, I am going to rage. Yes. Because I am having a hard day, and I don't need this right now. So, with that, I'm going to have a go at those vines. Wonderful. Um... Ooh, um... and... So I'm assuming a 19 hits with the Great Axe? It definitely does. Awesome. So that is d12. Oh, I'm so excited, I've never rolled a d12 before. So that is 6 with the Great Axe. Oh, wait, um... Sorry, that's eight. I forgot to add the new, uh... Rage bonus. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Is that... And, uh... I don't want to move to get opportunity attacks, so I... But I will, uh, get between... Well, I guess I'm already between it and custard. I, I, they are not getting the little furry boy. He's very much so cowering behind at all costs. The, the biggest person in the group, so he's very much so um, right behind you, like this. And da, 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 da. is that the end of your go? Yeah, that was my bonus action in action, so. Okay, okay. And in retaliation. Uh, the vines in front of you are, are very shaken and they try to like lash out like whips but it has no effect. Uh, so it is now Nuna's go. I don't like the look of that mossy bear fella. I'm gonna... Um... I'm gonna try and firebolt it. Okay, uh, Did that roll? No, it did not. Yes, it did. Uh, ooh, 21 to hit. That definitely hit. Yay! And what is my damage? 15 damage. Ooh. Respectable. Nice. Um, Happy with that. And you watch as you fire off the uh, fireball at it and it looks like a bear but it's not a bear and with the fire that just it burns away a lot of the moss and underneath you can see patches of grey fur like maybe a wolf and in retaliation the groff storms its way in a very very confusing way of just like sort of sucking itself in through the narrow door and then popping out the other side right up into Davos a Davos face oh. I have regrets for a multi-attack oh it's very rude so we'll do its bite <laughs> That's a natural 20. Uh, 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 um, so that is 13 points of piercing damage on the first one. Lovely. 
And then Bright's Swamp Claw attack. 14. Yeah, that, that hits. Um, I need my d6. <laughs> With 10 points of slashing damage plus... Nine points of poison on top of it. Good, good. And if the creature is a medium or smaller creature, it must succeed on a DC 15 strength saving throw or become engulfed by the graph. <laughs> oh, I love being engulfed. <laughs> Why do I keep choosing creatures that have an engulf feature? <laughs> I guess it's a new experience for Davith. Yeah, it's not Narusa's go this time, it's Davith's no. turn. <laughs> As is tradition. <laughs> right, so what do I have to roll, sorry? I have to roll a... Strength saving throw. Strength please. saving throw. Right, oh. Oh, that's oh, 21! Beautifully saved. Natural 20, I'm... Fine, don't you engulf me. I'm not some weedy altma. I'm a wiry little dunma. It gives you a very confused look, like, what on earth is he talking about? But That is exactly way, my goal. Either way, you've confused it for the moment, and we're back to Joseph's go. Ooh, okay, I can try and be useful this turn. You never know. Um... That's a good try. Okay, I am going to try and cast Confusion on the bear, specifically centred on a point that contains the bear within the 10 foot radius, but not Daveth. Okay, okay, let me just measure. I've already confused the bear, I don't know why you need to confuse it further. Yeah, I'll say <laughs> that you managed to aim it more towards the doorway. Yeah. And uh, this spell assaults and twists a creature's mind, drawing delusions and provoking uncontrolled action. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. And I'm, I'm gambling on the bear not having very high wisdom. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. I've just rolled but I need its modifier. Does a 10 succeed? It says 16. Nope. Um, an affected cat target can't take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each of its turns to determine its behaviour for that turn. And we have a table! Oh, amazing! Yeah. Uh, at the end of each of its turns, an affected target can make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. But for the moment, the bear wolf thing, whatever it is, is confused. It's almost as if um, Dabbath's comment is <laughs> I need a good symbol. What symbol should we use? Just in case you can't see, I'm wiggling my fingers in a confusing fashion. There we go. It's got hey. a little very confusing. Little, 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 little. little confusing symbol. Can I do a bonus action? Uh, yeah, of course. Bardic inspiration for um. I want to say Edith. What was your name? <laughs> Morgan. Uthgard. Uthgard. That's it. Basically the same. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> Edith. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I believe in Edith. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> in this, uh, like, in this alternative like... universe, Lucian has a loot. Of course, and <laughs> for making me laugh so hard, just if you get an inspiration point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Which, remi which reminds me, don't forget to look at the rules. Yes, I did look at the rules. Then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bardic inspiration that's the same as normal inspiration right yes but um, bardic so it's better it's it a d8 it's a d8 yeah you oh, can a d8? add a d8 to basically any roll 
-hmm. pretty much, right? Yes. Uh, ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws for 10 minutes. And you can subtract awesome. it from damage you were going to take, uh, I think. Let me double check. I'll read through to uh, Lucian's. Uh, well, that's how we played it before, and I, but we can check. Hang on, I'm just trying to bring up my other screen. Wait, um, it'll say here, won't it? Do, 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 do. Oh, no, it doesn't say that. Um, cutting words, that's it. Okay, as a reaction, when a creature you can see within 60 feet makes an attack roll, you can expend one use of bardic inspiration. Oh, okay, so I choose to use that when something near me is being... Okay, yeah, it's a separate thing. Okay, but I'm inspiring you. So Very be inspired. Inspiring. Awesome. And once again, it's the Mushroom Shrieker's turn, and it tries to do its blinding spittle. But it just can't reach. <laughs> so it's kind of giving like little sort of rave effects in the background, like as if it suddenly become a party. <laughs> and that's the end of its go. But it's still screaming, by the way. Very, very loud screaming. And it is Morgan's go. You've just been inspired. And I'm going to go with that and uh, attack recklessly now, Ooh. because I am hyped. Yes. So I have an advantage. This was earlier. All right. So that is, uh, is a 21. I assume that hurts. That definitely hurts. Twelve out. Ooh, so that's twelve plus three plus two from the rage. So that's seventeen. Ooh, slashing. Beautiful. And I remembered my second attack this time. So, yay! <laughs> Double attack. Are you recklessly doing it again? Um, I think it's only the first one, but I can never remember. So yeah make your first attack on your turn so the next one is just a normal roll. Six, so 19 that hits you are laying into these vines like it's no tomorrow just it is not okay to grab someone just like that so eight True. plus two so 13 um, i keep forgetting that i have my calculator app open so i should be using it <laughs> There we go. There's a moment very reminiscent from a game that we did play. Ufgird Morgan is kind of channeling her inner Annika, and it's wonderful. But it's not a true full bisection just yet. But speaking of the vines, and that you did roll recklessly, I get advantage now. Yes, you do. Does an 18 hit? Yes, yes it does. does. Oh. <laughs> Wait, whose turn is this now? It's my go with the assassin vines. With the assassin vines. I'm gonna cutting words you. Oh. On your 18. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna subtract a d8 mm -hmm. from you. Hang on. You need this... a three or higher. No, that's not a D eight. Uh, this is a D eight. Right. Okay. Hang on. Six. Yep. Your rubbish vines, and you suck. You really are pathetic. You're all green and and that and and bleh. you silly vines. Those poor vines. What did they ever do to you? Yeah. Well, of, like... you're rubbish. They kind of just recoil in sadness. Mm. And I feel quite of, bad now. <laughs> they they very much so just like droop and stare very sadly at the floor if they had eyes, but they <laughs> don't have eyes. So you can only really assume. 
and actually because if I remember correctly uh, speak with animals is still going for 10 minutes yeah you get the sense that you've really hurt these vines <laughs> feelings and it's actually happening and it's not just me giving set dressing <laughs> Oh. You feel very guilty. So they can communicate to me. <laughs> yeah, they kind of just like sort of turn to you and just go, "What was I need of?" <laughs> but on the other hand, they really definitely understand what I'm saying to them. Yes, they really, they're really very do. aware that they're useless. <laughs> I've heard all sorts of terrible things about them. I've heard it on the grapevine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether to subtract inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be kind. I'll be benevolent. I'll leave it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> but it is now Nuna's go. Um, there's a what very was? confused mossy bear in front of you. Mossy bear wool, whatever it is. Is it still seeming aggressive? For the moment? Hmm, no. Uh, then I will, hang on. I disen I'll disengage will use my whole turn. Um, can I just sort of run over to the mushrooms rather than disengaging and stuff and just try and... No, no, I don't want to get in range of anything because I'm half dead. Um, hang on. Have a look at the thing. I'm going to try and get out of the way a bit there oh because it can't attack of opportunity you can it because it's I'm, a, I'm assuming not because it's yeah. confused I'm hoping not because it's, it's confused. confused yeah, yeah I'm gonna... it doesn't have reactions so you can yeah. do that, please. Gonna I'm going to move up here mm -hmm. and then I'm going to let's see um... Wait, are you leaving me between you and the bear <laughs> Oh, that wasn't really my intention. Golly. There we go. I'll I'll stay here. I'll I'll get a little bit out of its range, but Thank for you. some reason, I, Davith Marvel, fi Marvin, feel strangely protective of you, Lucius <laughs> Um, and but I will uh sort of dodge around you and uh have another go at flinging a fireball at them mushrooms. Okay. And that did not hit anything. Actually, it does. Does it? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very big mass of mushrooms. That is true. Place. That is true. In that case, um, ba -ba 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 damage. 15 again. And in not one shaking. hit, the shrieking stops. Ooh. And really? there's just now a, like, smouldering mass of mushrooms in the back of the tavern. Whether it smells nice is up to you all to make, because I don't really know the smell of mushrooms, so who knows. But that is the first enemy defeated. Good job. Hey. Guess you could say they weren't strong enough. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's now the graph's turn. I need to roll on a d10. That's a six. The creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. It just stays there. <laughs> it kind of, it sort of has the vibe so of confused. a cartoon character that's just been hit over the head and it's got birds flying around its head. It's just there, like, really wobbly. I'm very confused. And with that, we're back to Joseph. Well, I'm still confusing him, and it's concentration, yep. right? So that means I can't do another action, because I'm doing no, this No, you can, just as long as it's not a spell that takes concentration. Oh, like is that how it spell. works? Oh, okay, cool. In that case... that's how I run it. I don't really know the rules. In that case, I will be useful. Hey. And, um... Tawin's Google searching how to ban a streamer from their own stream for the Stroganoff thing. Um... <laughs> I'm going to do Cure Wounds, I think is my best healing thing on Daveth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's my strongest healing thing. So, what level? Oh, hang on. Compared to healing words? 
3d4 plus 5 versus 4d8 plus, well, 4d8 plus 5 is better. And I'm going to cast that at the... Uh, how, how much health have you lost, Daveth? I have lost, oh, blimey, quite a bit. Um, about 30 points, 32. You've lost 32. Okay, good. Well, I'll give you lots of healing then. Yay. Um, Hang on, let's do some quick maths. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it at fourth level. Mm, and so. I heal you. So I, uh, I roll. Hang on. Four d eight. Plus, uh, and it's the fourth level, so five six. I roll seven d eight. Bear with me. I'll be right with. I'll be there in a sec. Seven d eight. Uh, where's my d eight gone? Here we are. Right. I. I think the four is calculated including the level you're at. I think. Oh, I that makes no, much wait. more sense. That's confusing. What does it Yes, it is. It is. It level? is. You're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. It is included because yeah. it's done it for me. Thank you so much, Nuno. I was about to heal you way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Which obviously yes. I don't want. One d8 plus your spellcasting ability. So it tell it was worked it out for me at the top. Four d8. Okay. Yeah. Four. Five. Two. Eight. Four, five, two, eight. Four 19. plus five is nine. Plus yes, nineteen, and then plus five. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Ooh. Very nice. Thank you very much, sir. You are so welcome. I cure your wounds because I am wonderful. Um, and then I I'm gonna I you. follow up. Sorry, what was that? I knew I liked you. Okay, yes, well, I'm, yes, I'm marvellous. Um, um, Edith, have you taken any damage? <laughs> I'm fine, and even then, barbarian, rawr. You're fine. Okay. Uh, do I have a, hang on. Sorry, I will get better at this. Healing word is my only bonus action. Uh, how much health do you, how much healing do you have left to be healed, Daveth? Oh, I'm fine now. I've got 43 points Oh, well, now. in that case, right. I have nothing to do with my bonus action. So, I shall leave it. Yeah. I'll cool. Right for a while. It, I'm it. still being... Ha! No, I'm still being confusing. <laughs> <laughs> is that the end of your go then? That is the end of my you? turn. Brilliant. And I will also say, because of the situation that's currently going on with this very very weird alternate universe usually i would have very much so uh, done no bad stop metagaming with the numbers on health but <laughs> oh okay for, for sorry flavor, for, for, for flavor with how weird this all is you all kind of have this kind of uncanny like system being in these very strange and different bodies you just in you just know and can therefore put it down into numerical scores and okay the, sh sh the shrieker has been defeated so that one's been crossed off and morgan it's your go again i am still raging and angry at these vines that had the audacity so let's roll to attack that i don't think hits um 11 that does not hit, no. Alright, I'll have another swing. Uh, and that, I think, does. 15? That hits. Cool. So, let me get a d12. Oh, that's... 2 plus 3 plus 2, so 7. The assassin vines, if they were a person, they would be bloodied by now. And it is a there go, in fact. Oh dear. Uh, Joseph, does a Hello. 21 hit? Hit me? Yes. With what? A constrict, 20 feet 
range. So, what, sorry, just because I'm not very good at D and D, is that against you, my armor class? Ar- armor class. My armor class is 14. So. Yeah. Okay, but I have Sentinel, so hmm. I'm going to have another go at him then. By all means, you do that first. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, Sentinel, if something within five feet of me makes an attack against a target other than me, I can react to attack them. Ooh, that's nice. So, I'm assuming a 21 hits. Yeah, that hits. You haven't needed your inspiration. (laughs) Ooh, 11 plus 3 plus 2, so... That is 16? With the yep, great axe? Yep, mm-hmm. Because how dare they? How dare they? Don't You're they fighting they? me? Leave them alone? <laughs> oh, for a moment I thought you were leaping in to protect me, but then you're just upset that they're paying attention <laughs> to someone else. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Same scene, right? <laughs> Anyway, continuing on with the assassin vines and that, they, it's still painful. Um, that's five. Oh, they still get me. Eleven. Yep, they oh. sure do. Eleven. That's fifteen points of damage. Well, I'm and... gonna cutting words the damage. Mhm. No, I told you you're rubbish. Get away from me, you pathetic little rubbish vines. You're just like big green noodles just flopping around and it's rubbish. <laughs> Two. <laughs> that only brings it down to 13 yeah, damage. Okay. Um, does that kill me? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, where are my hit points? They're on this somewhere. Oh, I've got 59 hit points. That's a lot. Oh, thank you. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Since everyone else is there, I am 93, so please let things attack me. <laughs> um, the target takes bludgeoning damage and is grappled. Until this grapple ends, the target is restrained and it takes poison damage at the start of Ooh, each of its turns. That's not very nice. Does that interrupt my concentration? Talwin's in chat. Talwin, what's the roll again? I can never remember with concentration checks what the base It's 10 plus something on a constitution check? Please, Tower, and give me knowledge. We pray to the D&D oracles to give <laughs> us the knowledge. Please. But the D&D gods are silent. Half damage taken or ten, whichever one is lower. Uh, higher. Uh. So is that okay. I have to roll against that, do I, or? Uh, that will be, yeah. You need to beat a ten. Need to beat a ten. On a constitution save. One! Plus two! <laughs> <laughs> I am not very constituent. You, there's a flash of pain as the vines wrap around you. What was that? I've confused myself. (laughs) You are restrained. Oh no. What does that mean? Does that just mean I can't move? Um. Or can I still cast spells? I will open 5e tools in a moment. Let me check. I am in trouble. Conditions. Restrained. A restrained creature's speed becomes zero and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against a creature have advantage and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Uh, the creature has a disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So oh. you can't move, you can't attack very well, and you can't do particularly very well on saving throws, but considering the fact that there's nothing said on spells, 
it's a free for all. By all Good, and I can still hit them with a charming smile and my sunny disposition. Yeah. Cool. Um, that was the assassin's binds go, and Danuna, we're back to you. Ooh, that's fun. Um. Do do do. I am gonna. Uh, let's see. Um. How is the funny bear fella looking? He's looking fine, and now that he's been freed from the spell, he's looking angrier. Yeah, so I probably don't want to be shopping, shocking grasping this fella. Um, I think I'm going to have a go with me Witch Bolt, because I don't want to be do too it. much of a one trick. Hmm? Sorry, I was just making positive noises. Carry on. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> uh, I don't want to be too much of a one trick pony, so let's see how that did. 14 to hit? Hmm. That hits. Hey, and then that is three damage. Ooh. Bit of a letdown. I'm not not gonna lie. <laughs> it was so dramatic before. <laughs> <laughs> it was all shiny and uh, yeah, it's bit too much razzle. Not enough dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the old razzle dazzle, razzle, razzle dazzle. <laughs> if anything. It seems to have tickled the groff, and now he's angrier, and oh. Joseph can hear that as such. Just... That's exactly what I was going for. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, it is his turn now. Oh, good. Me? No, it's the oh. Oh. Um... Yeah, he's just going to multi-attack again against Dabba. Uh. So, fight first. Um... Cutting words? Uh, let me finish her all <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I want to protect. <laughs> Does a 13 hit? Yeah. Just. Just. Oof. Do you want to cutting yes, words? Yes, cutting now, words. And I think I've already used three cutting, three lots of Bardic Inspiration, so this will be my fourth. Um, but yes, okay. Two. Either way, you completely nullify the effects of the bite. It misses. Woo! But he still has a swamp claw. Oh. That doesn't sound nice. Um, oh, and I didn't insult him. Um, You're so slow, there's moss growing on you. <laughs> uh, it seems to carry on the effect of being insulted by a tiny imperial man as the second attack misses as well with an 11. Hey. You're just very angry snorting noises from this very mossy creature. Mm. Uh, but we're back to Joseph's turn either way. Um, so I I thought confusion was working quite well, apart from when it stopped working. Mm. But I can start a concentration thing again, despite yes. having been interrupted, right? Yes, as long as you've got the spells, you can do as you please. Yes. Although, hang on, I used Confusion and I used Cure Wounds at the 4th level. So that's both my 4th level spell slots, I forgot to occupy that one. Um, so I can't use Confusion again. So that's fine, and I can't move or attack. So that leaves me with very limited options. Well, um, you can technically attack, but it's at disadvantage. Oh, I can put the bear to sleep! Ooh. I can do that! <laughs> Hmm. Bear. Now it's taken quite a lot of damage. Is the bear bloodied? Let me double check. No, it is not. It's not bloodied. Okay, so we're gonna have to just put everything I've got into this sleep spell and hope it works. So I'm gonna cast the sleep spell at the third level. Mm -hmm. Which means I get to roll 5d8 plus an additional 2d8 for each slot above the first. And I have got the right number of d8 this time. So that's 5, 7, so that's 9d8. And if what I roll is higher than the bear's hit points, the bear falls asleep. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Um, if I read these out, can you count them for me? Yep, I have my notebook out. Brilliant. Five. Mm-hmm. Four. 
One. Yep. Eight. Yep. Three. Five. Two. Six. And the last one. Four. What's the total? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Does the bear fall asleep? No. No. Okay, so you know the bear has at least 38 hit points. <laughs> and I've wasted my spell. <laughs> it, it, was, it, it, it was a very surprising move that I'm very glad to see. <laughs> I like to see these kinds of things. It was a valiant attempt. Um, yes. I still have my bonus action, so I would like to inspire Daveth. Oh. Daveth, you've got the most handsome voice out of all the Dunmer and Tamriel. I believe in you. You can, you can, you can fight this bear. You can, you can, you can bear with it. You can, you can do it. You got this, bro. Fist bump. Yeah, fist bump. Don't really know what this fist bump thing is, but we're gonna no, do it anyway. No, but I did it. Kind of look awesome yeah. with the uh, grapple. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Some of the vines try to join in on the fist bump. <laughs> It's kind of a confusing mess. <laughs> Beautiful. I thought but... the vines didn't like me because I was mean to them. <laughs> yeah, they don't like you, but they... I didn't say anything about them not liking Dava. Then why are they? I'm talking? a very likable fella. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> your graft, apparently. Yeah. So you still well... have your inspiration, don't you, Edith? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, you've still got yours. So you've each got one, and now I'm out of inspiration. So cool, that's the end of my turn. Yep. Um, Someone save me. <laughs> it's Morgan's go. That was a very... That was a... That was something. Well, what, <laughs> what is Morgan up to? Morgan's going to try and help. Uh, Lucian. I'm sorry. Uthgard. Not Morgan this game. <laughs> um, so attack recklessly. Oh, not 20 on the second. Yay. So that is max damage, so... That is 12, 3, and 2 for 17. Mm -hmm. And I will swing again. That I don't think hits. Um... 15? Um, let me double check. That's a hit. Ah, cool! Yay! I'm so used to wearing sub 10. So 7, so 12 more. Ufka definitely channels her inner Annika and in one... Well, after one impressive strike and with the final finishing blow, just comes down with the axe. Lucian is freed from its from its grapple and restraint, and the vines just wither up back into the roof, just hanging very limp and dried up. So that is. I'm doing that i am going to go resolve the bear issue hopefully mm -hmm. or at least get between them with my much meteor health pool in the background custard chooses to hide under one of the not broken tables he's there do you mean you don't want to join me facing the bear <laughs> he wants to be as far away from the bear as possible but, what would happen if I used heroism on Custard? Would he feel more heroic? <laughs> Get him involved? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have an answer yet, so <laughs> it's up to you if you do things, but... Oh, boy. Yes, the assassin vines are killed, and we are back to Nuna. Hey. Nuna Davith. Yeah. Navith. 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 Nuna Davith. Yeah. Nuna Davith. Some fella. Um, right, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna 
give it a good old stabby stab with me daggers now. Um, two weapon fighting. Do it have me any different? Yeah. Okay, I've got my short sword in one hand and my dagger in the other. So my action is going to be um, to attack with the short sword. And that is a nine. Can I use my inspiration here? By all means. Okay, and that's a D8 in it. Because mm -hmm. I'm feeling ever so fired up by the vote of confidence from my little friend Lucian. And that is two. You got this. I'm oh. feeling slightly fired up. You haven't really got this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not got much of it at all. Although there wasn't enough, ink, there wasn't enough fuel to fight behind that fire oh. to yeah. really land the blow. Oh, I just made it awkward. In that case, I'm gonna bonus action two uh, two weapon fighting. I'm gonna try with my dagger. Twenty three. That hits. Yes. The inspiration comes late. With one <laughs> slash, you miss, but on the backhand, you bring it back with the dagger. And I will do. Uh, oh, crikey! That's five piercing and eighteen sneak attack. Um, it says here. Sneak attack won't count in this situation because it wasn't with. I did think it might not. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I was just trusting in the computer. Someone put a bucket on its head. Yeah. Then it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty plenty of buckets. It's forever. <laughs> um, but five, 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 five damage. I helped. I helped. Nope, I didn't good job. <laughs> Very good job. Lucian applauds. Wait. Yay. And it's the Grofska. And it's torn for a moment. But it's still going to multi-attack either way. It can't get past either of you. And Yay. It's going to do its bite attack first against Anuna. Uh -oh. um, and I'll react with the sentinel. Yep, that's eight plus seven, which is uh, 15. fifteen. Yeah, that hits. It's a hit. Um, where is my D eight? Pardon me. Oh, that's eight points of piercing damage to Nuna. Um, and I rolled for the sentinel attack. Which mm -hmm. is 16, I'm guessing, that hits. hits. That definitely hits. Cool. Oh, that is 2 plus 3, so 7 with the axe. That doesn't hit. Wait, no. Oh, My 7 brain. damage. 7 damage, there we go. <laughs> My brain is struggling with words, but a good hit either way. And its response with its swamp claw. 9 plus 7, uh, 16 against Uthgird. Yes, that uh, Yes, it does. Go ahead. Um, oh, no. I'm fine. I, I've got 93. Oh. Plus half damage. Oh, that helps. 9 points of slashing damage plus... 5, 6... 12 points of poison damage as it comes back around with the claws just straight across Uthgur's chest. Is that already halved? Um, no it isn't. So okay. You'll need to half it. So that's, so that's five damage. and then... Five and six. So, so five and six. Left. Yeah. Um, and I will need a saving throw. <laughs> Strength saving throw from Uthgur. I mean, I have advantage on that, so... Mm -hmm. 19 plus uh, 6, so 25. Once again, it tries to, like, claw into you and drag it into its mouth to engulf you, but you just shrug it off. No one's going to be engulfing Uthgur today. Nice. I'm an angry Nord. The angriest nod, considering the fact that you're raging. And we are back once again to Joseph's go. It's me. It's me. Okay. Um, I Neither of you need healing. 
You're fine for health, I think. You look yeah, fine. I'm, fine. Yeah. I'm not going to try and um uh whatever meta game it whatever it was you said. Um I am instead going to hit the bear with some vicious mockery. Ooh. You big bear, you 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 you're a bear. And that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> unbearable <laughs> yeah you're unbearable um you definitely could do with um brushing your teeth a little bit more because i can smell you from over here you silly thing um so that i understand is 2d4 of psychic damage you need to roll a wisdom saving throw first so you do yes 12 all right 16 yeah yay and um so 2d4 of psychic damage four and two so that's six uh -oh. and um and also you have disadvantage in your next attack roll yes i shall know because you feel so bad about yourself you and you bear. <laughs> once again just if you can hear the absolute just 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 the agony that you've put it in. Not just physically with the psychic damage, but the emotional damage. Mm. It, you're really hurting these poor animals feelings. And um after that, just using my general observation, who out of these two people look like they're hurting more? If you were Probably both dead. Yeah. Probably me, but I'm not too bad. Well, I'm going to hit you with a little healing word as a bonus action. Okay, thank you. And that word is... Uh, plinth! <laughs> I do feel healed. <laughs> and I'm going to cast that at the second level. So, uh, that means you get 2d8 plus 5 hit points. 6. 1. That's 7 plus 5 is 12! Not bad. I think. Yes. Yep. Some wonderful healing. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. And it, it, we're back to Ufgard's go. You're, you're a gentleman and a scholar, sir. And a scientist and an amateur for <laughs> amateur wizard. <laughs> <laughs> and I am an angry Nord who will attack recklessly again. Do it. Ooh, so is. twenty-one hits. So. My D twelve game isn't as strong. That's a four. Uh plus three plus two, so math so that's nine. Mm -hmm. And then roll for second attack. Ah, that is a one. Uh, what does it bring up to again though? Oh uh, so seven. Yeah, that doesn't hit. But a, a mighty fine blow on the last, on the first hit. It's safe to say at this point that the groff is past blooded. It is hurting, and on the are, inside, on the on the inside <laughs> as well. What like the inside hurts so bad. That poor groff. Whatever did it do to deserve this? <laughs> It, it did invite itself in here, just it's say. It tried to eat us. <laughs> it's very rude where I come from. Incredibly rude and cyrodiil. Honestly. Very uncultured, bare, mossy thing. And Nuna, what is Dabbeth up to? Uh, ooh, let's have a look. I think he's going to go back to the uh, old faithful firebolt. It's served him well so far. Mm-hmm. And it is not continuing to do so because that was a four. And oh, and it was a a natural one. Oh no! <laughs> it doesn't matter. Why do like Why that. do we have two net ones in a row? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter either way with the net one. It the groff moves just a little bit too quickly to one side and then back again, and you just watch as the firebolt shoots out the open window and. <laughs> into the blacksmiths Ooh. the blacksmith is now on fire Ooh. don't worry about it <laughs> that's fine though 
It, I mean, it's, it's a blacksmith. It's all very fireproof, right? You can only hope. <laughs> Probably fine. Is uh, that everything for Davith? Or bonus action and movement? Uh, buh, 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 um, I think... I don't really have... Let's see. What, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, I'm going to bonus action disengage. Um, does that involve also moving on the map a bit? Yeah. You yeah. can move where you would like to. Okay, I'm going to come over and stand by my old friend Lucian Flavius again. Hello. Wonderful. And we're back to the Groth. And it gets advantage because of Ufgard's recklessness. That's the sound of it getting it... advantage. Oh, but it gets disadvantage because of... Oh, yeah, it it's does. It's insulted. Do they cancel that, each uh, other out? How does that work? Yeah, that, uh, if disadvantage and advantage are imposed at the same time, I roll it as just a straight roll. So I'll do that again, because... And that was a nat one, so either way. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of ones. We're, we're just not one. into this fight right now. No, it misses with its bite, and it tries to go in again with a slop, swamp claw, because it's doing its multi-attack. That's a 12 plus 7, so a 19 against Oofgood. Yep. Uh, that's... 8 slashing damage, so 4 slashing damage. 5... 8... No, 7... 13 poison damage on top of that. Bring it down to 6, so that is... Yeah, all that together, and I need another strength saving throw again. Uh, oh, I'm fine. Of course. <laughs> That's uh. So that is twenty four. Yep. <laughs> it's it, it, there's there's also a sense when it tries to engulf again, but Joseph can only really hear that. The Groff is very hungry, and it's just trying to have a meal, but Aww. its meal is being too flighty and feisty in return, so it can't do anything, so it's just very hangry now. <laughs> I could offer it a nice meal of mushrooms. And salt, Peter. Salty mushrooms? <laughs> to be fair, we need those for unknown reasons. Mm. <laughs> and we are back to Joseph's go. Well, as bad as I feel, I'm going to continue to mock it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't even manage to hit when you're trying to bite us and engulf us. You can't even do that. You should have. You should be. You should have got your eyes checked because you can't see. And that's a one. And that's another one. So, two. <laughs> oh, but you need to make your wisdom saving throw, actually. A two, which so makes it a three, so it failed anyway, and in response it whimpers. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just kind of slinks back a bit, very dejected, mm, like a little bit. A little bit. Oh well, at so... least you get the disadvantage again, that's something. <laughs> uh, okay, and anything else? Uh... <laughs> No, because none of its hits landed last time, did they? So, nope, I'm a good nope. thumbs up. Yeah. A, a cheery thumbs up in the direction of um, Uthgard. <laughs> Who's Uthgard? It's Edith. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. <laughs> Speaking of Edith, if you would like to go. <laughs> I like that we're going with that. All right, <laughs> so another reckless attack, because this has gone on too long. That wasn't a 20, that was a 12. Um, uh, 22. Yep. So, ch -ch -ch. where'd that 12 go that I just rolled by accident? Uh, that is 8, 3, 2, so 13. Mm -hmm. And second attack. Uh, 21. That hits again. Uh, 
That's a two, so seven. The groff is on its last legs. It is limping, and it is so close to being defeated. But either way, it's Davos go. Get in there. Give him the old one-two. I shall certainly try. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go for another... Uh, come back to here, and I'm going to go for another attack with my short sword. 21. That hits. And that is... Um, it's still telling me I've got sneak attacks. Uh, four piercing damage. Yeah, with that, Davith kind of just puts it out of its misery, and with one fury-filled roar, it falls. But Lucian having the speak with plants still up. You very very specifically hear it scream for help oh, before no. it collapses, uh -oh. Oh. and combat has ended. Oh, good! Victory <laughs> music. Da, 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 da. And I will just roll for something. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what is everyone's passive perception? Um, Mine is fourteen. Mine is 18. Mm. Uh, uh, when you say passive perception, where am I looking? Is it where it says passive whiz, brackets perception? Yes. 12. Um, Dabba is the only one to hear it. I'm also feeling, in fact, years of cracking open safes, he's become attuned to the slightest vibrations. And very slowly from the distance, there are lots of them. Seemingly heading closer, but the distance... It's enough for Davith to come to the conclusion that whatever is on its way will be there within a few minutes. Can I tell a direction? It's coming from the south. Ooh, okay. Cool. I think, friends, we should probably uh, get a get a wriggle on and uh, make our way to White Run forthwith post haste. Oh, but I'm quite tired. Can't I have a rest first? I do not recommend that, my friend. I suggest that we, uh, you know, scurry, scurry. Come on, chop, chop. Oh, I don't really do scurrying. I prefer a sedate stroll. There's something coming this way, and I think we don't want to be here when it gets here, mate. Oh, golly. Well, why didn't you say so? Follow me. Sorry. Edith is getting the cat. Oh, yes, yes the cat. We need that. Thank yes. you. <laughs> I was just about to say, you're going to leave my son behind? I was definitely going to get him if nobody else did, but yeah. <laughs> Lucian's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> Which way are you going to head? Well, we need... We look at Sorry, go. I can't pick up custard. Um, oh, yeah. I guess we ask Davith. Do 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 I Davith know the approximate way to White Run? Yeah, I will have. I will say that there's this lingering sense of like two personalities mixed together, and so Davith does know that the way to go yeah. is north. I mean, I knew that would probably be able to work it out once I'd yeah. sort of gotten over the weirdness anyway, but... Yeah. All right, yeah, we're going to head in the general direction of Whiterun. Mm -hmm. Off we go. Oh, I've gone off the map now anyway, so we've, I can't, yeah, we've, can't we've run out my token of map. anymore anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Very thematic. I'll put you all back onto the strange guy scene, because Ooh. I don't have any other transitional scenes because I was silly and forgot to. That is fair, but... Uh, you all continue on your way and it's it's difficult it's very strange considering what you all know 
of White Run. There are still no plants in sight, like as if everything's been uprooted. And once you finally crest that hill, when you get past the bridge, all you can see is flames. Uh oh. But you take a moment to focus more, considering that you've all got a rather high passive perception as a group. The flames haven't engulfed White Run, White Run fully. It's like a barrier. And you slowly make your way down towards the bridge next to Honningbrew Meadery, and this wall of flames seems to encompass a very large portion of the plains of White Run. And once you reach Hon Honningbrew Meadery, you can see a patrol of guards, and one of them looks very different to the rest. She's very small, she's dressed in mage robes, um, short brownish hair, seemingly of Breton descent. There's a very weird inkling that you've all met her before, but the clash of personalities going on is a little bit too much, so you can't exactly place who she is. But as soon as she sees you all, she casts a spell and a small archway within the Wall of Flames appears allowing you access into the protected area just in time as well because the vibrations that Dabith had heard or rather felt they come into view behind you just as the wall of flames reconnects back into itself and you see a tw twisted amalgamation of giant and plant four of them they were t they were chasing after you all but as soon as they see the fire they just stop where they are and stare and the young woman turns to you all and goes oh i'm so glad to see that you're back i've been worried sick do you have everything for foranga Yes? I believe we do, yes. Um, we have things! Yes, yes we between the, we, not, we've, yeah. we would not come back without the things. Yeah, we've got the things. We've got, Ooh, look, things. here we go, and I start handing sacks and sacks of salt, Peter, and she probably doesn't want me to hand them to her straight away, <laughs> but I'm going to start handing them to her. I enthusiastically join in. <laughs> <laughs> She's immediately overwhelmed and pulls back, like, I, I appreciate the... I, I, Oh, goodness. Oh, you don't want these. Okay, no. right. No, you're supposed to take these to Dragon's right. Reach. Yep, start I, packing I them back. Clear. Knew that. Yep. Yeah, it was just a test. We were testing. Yeah, ah, just, you passed. Just like sure. Yeah, well done. Right. Okay, then. Um. Well, if you see... Does she has to take a long moment to process and um, just sighs well anyway you're all safe you're all sound i can't even begin to imagine how harrowing that was but um you're all back that's what ca that that's what matters the most um farangar is still waiting expectantly for you i would very much recommend hurrying up and getting to Dragon's Reach as soon as possible. The situation has gotten more dire and we're not entirely sure if there's going to be an end in sight, but at least you're back. So uh, hurry on, shoo, shoo! Chewing! Chewing! <laughs> Shoes yep. you all away and returns to her guard post with everyone. Um, hmm, I'm trying to remember. Actually, Nuna Dabbath. Yes. If you could give me a wisdom check. Wisdom check. Um, yes. 22 and it's green, which I think means that's a, yeah, that's a natural 20. I'm very, very wise. The wisest yes. of Dabbaths. <laughs> As we it's all very know. out of character. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their moment. <laughs> they do, and they 
this feels this is very much so a moment of joint um collaboration between Davos knowledge and Nuna's knowledge that woman her, her, her face is very familiar to Tyria <gasps> mm. Tyria yes that sounds about right for her name but you all continue on up to White Run. Can I whisper to Davith as we go, who's Tyria? You wouldn't have heard that. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. I, I heard it in my brain. Oh, I thought you said it. Yeah, okay. no. Never mind. As you were. <laughs> as we're going, can I cast Speak with Animals to make sure Custard is okay? Because Hell he was yeah. a scared little boy. He's a very scared little boy. He's so I worried. Speak with the animals. Speak with the animals, you do indeed. Uh, Edith Morgan Ufgert, I don't know which name to use. <laughs> um, Edith Morgan about to have an existential crisis. <laughs> it, it, this is definitely one heck of an identity crisis indeed, but um, he doesn't say anything. He's too dumb to notice that any spells have been cast, <laughs> or that there's any level of communication that he can initiate in. So he's just... I assume he's been carried along. Very well. He gets pets for trying anyway. Mm -hmm. You're not going to ask him anything? Because he's unaware. You'll probably well, have to open... I'll ask him. if he's uh, okay with everything that's gone on. He's very confused. He goes, <laughs> and then blinks a lot more. Oh, blinks uh, is nice. Blinks is good. Blinks is how cats show affection. Where, where parent? Oh. Where, where blue cat gone? Where, 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 where blue, blue, yellow, big cat parent mum? Where, where he? Where, where go? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, little one. And I am making all the sappy little baby talk noises. <laughs> we'll look for your parent, promise. Okay, thank you. You just let me know if you see them or you smell them or Anything like that? Um, smell on flappy paper thing. The flappy paper? He's Oh, the picture! The picture, yeah. Ah. Uh... Good. Where, where go? Need, need find mum? Where's she? Where? <laughs> He, he makes very sad little meows and just settles in to be carried. He's about to just cry in the middle of white room <laughs> and no one knows why. Not so unbroken now. Nope. Ooh, shots <laughs> fired. <laughs> Look, if you don't break when a little cat is crying for their mommy and daddy in your arms, then you... you suck. I'm sorry. Yeah, fair point. You are not a good person. Mm. So, with goes now to the others, we need to find the kitty's mom and dad. Parent. Make it happen. Oh wait, the flappy paper. Smells like them. Yes, uh, Stilt Strider. Dooms with R. Something? I can't quite remember. <laughs> Essentially, what it was, was that the letter was from Kaidun. Yes! And, uh, it, it was essentially him dropping off someone. He was starting to do his head in a little bit. Um, and with the way that the ribbon is attached to it, it sort of seems like as if it was sort of like a necklace to put on said person. Oh, uh, on custard. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe Kaiden dropped custard off. If you do look at the Silk Strider picture again, one of them does look like a Khajiit in the picture. But the figures that are drawn are very small. One of them does have a tail, but... Was it a blue Khajiit? 
There isn't colour. Oh, okay. Because Cast had mentioned a yellow slash blue big cat. Oh. But yes, you. Either way, you all make your way up into White Run proper, and outside of it, it there's military set, military tents set up outside the portcullis. Lots of guards are uh, going back and forth, keeping patrol. And as you look over the walls towards the west, you can see where the very vibrant, powerful firewall suddenly dips into just this faintly orange shimmer and then regathers again. And you keep walking up through the gates and into the Plains District, you find there are more tents of people and small livestock walking around there's this heavy air of desperation and uncertainty in regards to the whole to future as people look stuck unable to do anything except comfort one another and i assume you're all heading up to dragon's reach like you were directed yep yeah Makes sense. let's do that mm -hmm. you head up further into the city and the more that people start to notice you the chatter around you gets louder and more hopeful you reach the winds district passing temple of kinnereth and where the guild green should be but it's missing from its spot <gasps> people in this district are helping one another helping the priests and priestesses tend to the wounded whilst the guards are teaching able-bodied men able-bodied men and women to fight with the help of the lower ranked companions the entire hold is trying its best despite the desperate times. You finally reach the grand doors to the palace and inside it's just as chaotic and busy as it was outside. It's packed and the main hall is acting as a shelter for playing children, grandparents, young couples and their newborns. The Jarl's throne stands empty. No one in sight except for guards and you look around heading up past the court wizard's laboratory to see no one inside except for two guards posted outside the archway and then up by the stairs there's one very familiar guard standing by the stairway lydia she immediately runs over oh thank the gods it's good to see you all back did you get everything for Farangar? she is exhausted and seems to be fraught with worry and the same desperation that was happening outside in the city proper oh we we got is this us we need to speak we have yeah. the things <laughs> she just gives the biggest sigh of relief oh thank the nine. Oh goodness you, you need to see Farangar immediately. He'll need to get started straight away on making another obelisk. We cannot, cannot survive another day without the wall being completely protected. Come on. She leads you up towards the balcony and um, the doors are open and inside there are different court members all going about surrounding this one war table with just one map of white run everything is labeled as you saw outside but rorick stead has been crossed off the map riverwood has been crossed off the map and a line has been drawn to match where the wall of fire is encapsulating the city except for one spot across from Fort Greymore, where it has an X in red. At the war table, very specifically, you see Irolif and Farangar. Yalbalgruf is nowhere in sight, and the house carl and the court wizard are looking haggard and at their wits' end. and they haven't even noticed that you're here and Lydia just 
leaves you by the table and goes back to her station, waiting at the staircase. Hello. I start piling things in front of Farangar. <laughs> Just... One of us are more su- is a bit more subtle than the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it snaps him out of his just very heavy staring at the map and he looks up well, that took you long enough didn't it either way you're back right did you did you get everything on the list of course we did good all the things yeah right. we have absolutely no gaps in our memory don't worry about that He seems everything's to okay. Yes, I remember everything. Yep. My name is Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> and I might be Edith. And this is a cat. <laughs> he is briefly confused and then more <laughs> frustrated. If if you want to roll deception checks, then please do. But <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Uh thirteen. <laughs> Sixteen. I have a minus one. Uh, nine. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, he gives you all a very sceptical look and glances at the guards stationed around the room. <sighs> Looks to Irola, but she seems to be a lot more calm and in control than he is at the moment. And she steps in and goes, Farangar, leave it. They've come back with what we've needed for two weeks now. So just ignore it. He makes a very frustrated noise and stands up to his full height. And being a nod, he's very tall, but not as tall as if good. And right, well, if you'll all come with me and I can get started on making a new obelisk. <sighs> and I suppose, if you're all up to the challenge, I'll have you take the obelisk in the morning so that we can finally refortify the wall. If not, then I'll just have to sacrifice the guards that we don't have to do so. That definitely sounds like a choice. We'll do the yep. thing! Will we? Will we do the thing? What do you think? Of course we will. Yeah. Sure. Um, we should probably leave custard somewhere safe because this sounds the way he said sacrifice the guards. I'm wondering if this is a cat mm. appropriate field trip. It Very does not thoughtful. sound cat friendly. No. Mm. He's also he's already worried about his parent. If only there was someone who was sworn to carry our burdens. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. I'll give him to Farangar. That can't go wrong, right? Right. Uh, are you actually offering my cat to Farangar? No. No. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Either way, because I think Speak with Animals is still up at this point, but it's starting to fade. Uh, Custard has been listening in and he just goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> Staying. Staying. Find mum. Find blue mum. He's very grumpy and kind of digs his claws in oh. to put across the point, just like, no, I'm not going, I'm staying. Staying with us or staying in the city? Staying with you. And Farangar leads you all back to his laboratory where he has you all set out the different ingredients that he had you gather. And he just turns to you all and goes, if there's anything else that you need, I'm sure I can be of assistance. Very sarcastic. Yes, I have a question. Um, why is this salt called Peter? Uh, it's salt Peter, as in the very flammable mineral. Thank you. That makes sense. Continue. We got you the salty Pete. Yeah. Uh, any Khajiit in town? Maybe. 
probably a fair few, but I'm not exactly been wandering around the city to truly check up on every single person that's here. We have people from Rorikstead, we have people from Riverwood, we have people from Granite Hill here. Granite Hill? Yes, if clearly something really bashed all of you around the head a few too many times, do I really have to repeat myself? Yes. Uh, fine. It's been a month now. At first, the attacks were small. They were very sporadic, starting from the west, probably from the reach. We're not sure if this is like a force one attack or something else. And what we've noticed, luckily from the help of Delphine, wherever the hell she's gone, that this is some sort of mutation. The further the plants spread, the more they infect, the more they turn against us, and the more they try to attack. We were only just so lucky to finally get the guild green out of the way and into the companion's hair. But after everything that's happened, uh, well, it's safe to say that in trying times, hope isn't easily sought. So, in the meantime, me and Irilith are in charge whilst Jarl Balgruf recuperates. We're still waiting for the Thane of White Run, White Run to return, as well as the Harbinger. We... So none, none of us is, is the Thane? Just another quick test, quick test. <laughs> Who, what's the th who's the Thane at the moment? Just checking you're who you say you are, you know, and not a not a not a plant. He does not have the words to reply. He's just <laughs> really at his wit's end. Do you really think if I was a plant I would be able to handle such flammable items whilst making this obelisk? I, I don't know, you tell me. Sounds like something a plant might say. Just, uh, just you know, just as easy. Who's the Thane? I'm a bit chills if I didn't think that part right. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just want to know who the player character is in this world. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to have to think of a person now because... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Farangar would not be sharing this if Farangar would just give a withering look yeah, yeah. you he know is, that it's not cooperative he's also very tired that's true <laughs> they've all had a time of it <sighs> if you really must know seeing as though you've clearly forgotten the Thane of White Run is Wolfie Theodoric <gasps> who also happens to be the harbinger yes oh, oh, so when you oh she's Thane great I like her oh. Okay. She? Right, she. Mm -hmm. Yep, Lovely. I know her. Yeah, very good. Great. Lovely person. You yep. passed the test. Congrats. Good job, Farangar. Very wolfy. Yep. Yay, what fun. I succeeded on a test I didn't need to complete. <laughs> and he goes back to his work. And it's a very involved process, is what he's doing. He's gathering all of the like iron pieces together using some kind of fabricate spell to bring it into this sort of angular egg shape and inside he starts placing or more so lining the inside of the obelisk with soul gems and then placing a mixture of both the bleeding crowns and the salt peter together and he closes it up sets it on the enchanting table gives a very heavy sight and turns back around this is going to take all night to finish so i do hope that come the morning you'll all be ready so ready i'm born yep. ready right well either way in the meantime i will ask lydia to escort you all to breeze home in the meantime it's one of the only places that we have left considering it's private property, but 
you can all spend the night there and I will suggest with utmost importance that you really, really supply yourselves for tomorrow's mission. It... Yeah. I'm sure you all saw Bort Greymore in the distance and it is overgrown, so... All I can really do is wish you good luck. And with that, he kind of gives you all of a shove out of his laboratory. <laughs> goes back to work. Off you go. Oh, Dialogue great. is finished now. Yes, please. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> and Lydia was quietly listening in the background and gives the best smile that she can. It's just like, if we're all trying our best, don't. Don't put it against him too much. Uh, I'm sure you all remember the way to Bree's home. I really shouldn't leave my post. So. Yep. Got it. She hands over. Very it. familiar. She hands Have over you got the key? key? Yep. Lovely. I didn't think you needed a key, Stabith. It is such a strong. I need them, but it's easier if I've got them. Thank you very much, Lydia. We will uh, get out from under your feet and your hair and all anywhere else that we might be up your nose. We'll get right out from all of those places <laughs> and off we go. And we will um, head to Bree's home, I believe. He gives a very confused look, but waves you all off and off, off you all go. Off we go. And it's very much so the same atmosphere when you get outside. Still very desperate people, but you pick up a few hints here and there. Um, food is being served at the Bannered Mare for everyone. Everyone gets their rations there. Um, Bellafor is doing his best, but He's still trying to be a jerk about it and hiking the prices up, but the guards have gone around more than enough times now to tell him to do everything at a discounted price because we're in a time of crisis, mate. Pack it in. And uh, the same with Arcadia's Cauldron, but without the sleazy business hmm. tactics. She's doing her best with her limited supplies, so... You might things. even be right that we all have a tax here. <laughs> mm. And yeah, White Run is free for you all to do as you please. White Run, White Run, it's a wonderful time. I am touched by Custard's plight, and I'm going to go ask around for Blue Khajiit. <laughs> And I'm going to keep speak with animals up again, since apparently I can cast it at will, in case he notices anything. That was a 12. 18. Asking around, a lot of the people aren't entirely sure what you're on about. They haven't seen a blue Khajiit in a couple of months now. They keep saying about Inigo, but the more that Custard listens in with his 18, he is against the idea of whoever this Inigo chap is. Like, nope, nope, wrong, wrong cat, oh, wrong blue cat. a different blue many cat. Many blue cats are there. There are right. very many. Well, he said a girl, right, Mum? So... Mm. Interesting. We will have to investigate further. And I, I so the, what's the deal with the Bannered Mare at the moment? Bannered Mare is um, essentially the cookhouse for the entire city. It's where they're managing the rations for everyone for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are there many people of there? There's lots of people there. Could they do with a song? <laughs> <laughs> One moment, I need to roll. 
Roll for song. <laughs> yeah, they are in need of a song with a seven. <laughs> what would it have been if you'd rolled lower? <laughs> it would have been people constantly shouting at Mikhail. Oh, okay. <laughs> because he's starting to drive them up the wall with his very limited repertoire. Well, Lucian would like to wander in and perform to them uh, a rousing rendition of Ragnar the Red. <laughs> Please roll me a performance check. Okay. And we're cheering him on in the background. Oh, no, it's not that. It's this one. Performance is plus eight. 19 plus eight. Smashed it. Absolutely. Out of the ballpark, amazing. And... When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. It's a delight, in fact, to see scared and desperate people taking an evening to be distracted from it all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here all night, folks. Here all night. Tips in the hat. <laughs> There's not much in the way of tips besides, like... Maybe a few coins. Probably what? Lovely. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a wonderful audience. Has anyone seen a blue Khajiit? A blue Khajiit. Anybody seen one? You get eight gold out of tips mm -hmm. in a hat you do not earn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they just all shrug. Very confused. At the Nobody's seen a blue Khajiit. No idea what you're going on about, mate. Nope. Um, okay. Well, thank you. Months now. So. Mm -hmm. Are we sure he means a Khajiit? On account of sometimes a person is a cat's mum, sometimes a person is a cat's dad. Are you saying a Khajiit isn't a person? No, I'm saying any kind of person might be the mum of said a cat. Blue cat. I thought okay. he said cat. But maybe Custard might think a person who isn't a cat is a cat. Especially That's if that true. person is his mum yeah. or parent. Has anyone seen anything blue? I'd like to revise my question. <laughs> anything blue? Anybody seen anything blue recently? Not the sky. Not the sky. We've got the sky covered. Yeah, we do not no, believe the sky if anyone's to be this seen cat's mum. Good thing that's blue. I'll give you this hat. That you do not have. <laughs> 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 like as soon as you mention the sky a fair few people put their hands down <laughs> <laughs> and then even more people put their hands down because what ha this hat <laughs> how, are they, how are they how are they gonna get some how are they gonna get a hat when clearly this imperial doesn't have a hat i thought i was given a an hat. invisible hat it's a special i hat. thought i was given money and a hat that's not mine they would have just given it to you. I think like, the hat may have been retrieved by its owner. I think you oh, may possibly have put down someone else's hat, my oh, friend. I thought I'd been given a hat as a tip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, someone someone put down a hat that wasn't yours anyway. Let's oh, not well. think too much about who that might have been. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, well, I think that's my, my little scene concluded. The, the tavern dies down after this uh, very rousing performance of Ragnar the Red and then the confusion of very odd questions from <laughs> clearly someone who has been around these parts enough but has taken a few hits to the head. What's, what's going on with Lucian? Usually he's not like this. Um, you know what? At least they're worried about something else now. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. And We've distracted I you. You all probably spend a, a few more hours at the Bannered Mare waiting for rations to be handed out. Very good stew, as always, because Pulda, amazing cook, chef's kiss. Props to her, even in trying times. And then, very specifically towards Dava, a different woman comes up Ooh. to him. I'll bet she does. <laughs> but specifically with a woman in the company of a very tall man 
they have a very strange aura about them, but there's something in the young woman's eyes that she kind of like hints, like catches a gleam of from Dabbeth and just gently walks up and, oh, excuse me, darling. Um, I was just wondering, do you happen to know a Narusa? Of course I do. Yes, I know uh, several Narusa. No, I know I know one Narusa. I know the correct number of Narusas. <laughs> yes, sorry. I've I've had a bit of a weird day. You know how it is at the moment. Um, how can I help, love? I think we've all had a very difficult day, my darling. But uh, I just couldn't help but wonder if you'd actually seen her in some time. I, I'm 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 sorry. I must properly introduce myself. I am Duchess Delilah, and this is my husband Karlov. And oh, you are kinda. gives a very polite bow of his head but he seems a little bit weakened for some reason and Duchess continues and gently squeezes his arm me and my husband had a brief interaction with uh, dear Narusa a few weeks ago uh, and everything that's happened since we've just been utterly worried about her and her friend we know that Morgan is here I've been speaking to Morgan, her. yes. Mm -hmm. No hurt. Looking after the companions. After the uh, a very particularly gruesome attack a week ago. Um, haven't seen the Alphique, though. That's a little bit worrying. I don't know where he could be. But you have the same kind of association Nerusa does to a certain guild, don't you, my dear? I very well may do, yes. Um, can I possibly do a roll to no see whether Dareth or myself has any idea what she's talking about? By all means. Yeah. What would that be? Um, insight or history? History. Yeah. Have a look. 22. Dareth has been reading books. Dareth knows things. <laughs> Dareth is on the ball. Dareth has been... Hanging out with his good friend, Narusa, probably a lot more in recent weeks. Um, Devith knows that Narusa had a very difficult time on the border of High Rock and Skyrim at a manor that was possessed by something horrible and that she had rescued. Would she have mentioned anything of a vampiric nature to him? Do you think? I think she would have been so excited about, you know, the people from the book that she would have probably, at the very least, given him enough clues to have figured out who exactly she was talking about, yeah. Eight wisdoms. Eight wisdom. <laughs> Thank you, Nerosa. And Davith knows automatically that the two people in front of him are vampires. Yeah. But Nerosa had spoken about them in such a high manner, in high regard, that any pretense of fear is immediately pushed aside. And also, these two are supposed to be fictional, but they're real. That's really cool. <laughs> cool. Lucian would be very excited if he knew what I know. I don't know what's uh, happening. You wouldn't be familiar with the book, Lucian, but I will uh, I'll give you the, um, uh, the Lucian-friendly version later on. How can I help your grace? I was just so busy recalling things that I've slightly lost track of what you just asked me. But I do know who you are, and I have seen Larissa quite recently. She's doing surprisingly well, all things considered. How can I help? Oh, thank goodness. I'm very glad to hear that she's all right. Um, well, considering what happened with the altercation that myself, Karlov and Larissa and Morgan and the Alfika got into... Um, I, me and my husband here, we ventured out into Skyrim because we needed to leave our past behind, I suppose. I was hoping that we could be of some help, uh, not of a directly combative nature, but I am a very good healer where I can be. And I see. 
I'm sure any any help of that nature would be greatly appreciated at this time. Um... How about in the morning you come find me at near the Temple of Kinneroth and I will give you what potions I can. Does that sound about right? That would that would be extremely appreciated my uh, your grace uh i will see you in the morning and uh it's a pleasure to meet you it's a pleasure to meet you too my darling come along paolo we have and i will do a massive bow a very flamboyant bow <laughs> so flamboyant that i should probably be doing an acrobatics check please <laughs> 14. it's flamboyant enough without <laughs> going head over heels yeah floor face first but she giggles and is gently ex escorted out by her husband and the rest of the evening is spent uneventful unless you're all up to something who knows but they seemed lovely <laughs> yeah definitely not suspicious no, no. No, they're a lovely couple. They're uh, she she she's uh, not royalty. The other one, aristocracy, aristocracy. She is. Oh, lovely, lovely yeah. eyes, lovely shade yes. of yellow. Mm. Mm. Yes. 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 Definitely of... normal. Yep. Very uh, exotic. She's uh, from High Rock, I believe. Very fancy. You know oh. how it is. I'd love yep. to go. Yes. Perhaps when all this is over. Let's do it. Yes. Eight. Davith and Lucian and Morgan adventure to High Rock. <laughs> Not Morgan. Edith. Who's Morgan? Morgan doesn't exist. Edith. Edith. <laughs> does exist, just not in the room right now. Yeah. Yeah, Morgan's <laughs> off with the, the companions. We haven't I met. We'll say that as the night continues on Edith and Ufgard, you forget to refresh the spell to speak with Custard but he keeps talking what and he's he just say? generally making comments about everything but he's generally scared and mm. briefly angry when you're all talking about going on basically what sounds like a holiday afterwards <laughs> <laughs> and he will also very specifically jump onto Joseph's lap and be like, oh, very grumpy, no thoughts, head empty stare up at him. Lucian like, provides strokes, pets, cuddles. He starts purring, mm. kneading a little bit. Mm. And just... I miss Cray. <laughs> <laughs> odd thing is that then you all can hear Custard. Hmm. Need to find mum. Not going away. Staying. Okay. Sorry, yes. After we yes, found your mum, then we we'll found go your mum. Don't worry. Yes, that, yes, that's part of the package. Yes. After all this, not. But don't worry, we'll find your mum. Thank you. And he um, settles down. Oh. And has a bit of a nap. Can I carry him while he's asleep as we make our way over to Bree's home? Yeah, he allows it. And oh. one of the actual funny things that translates very well is that Custard never really wakes up when you pick him up. Aww. So he's just purring very sleepily Aww. whilst he's being carried. I take him he's to had his home. He's <laughs> very tired. Aww. And I think with that, we'll continue next session. Okay. Because Do we really have a eight. long... Are we ending with a long rest then? Yes. Yeah. Is there a long rest? Oh, there is a long rest button. Yes, there yes. is. Mm -hmm. Take long rest. Confirm. Did it. Yep, all good. Huzzah. Well, thank you so much for this, Ninja. Yes, this was great. It's, it's been so much fun. Thank you for letting me... DM. Thank no, it's been brilliant. It's been a really. I'll be good honest. I half expected to give the flammable things to Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Understandably. But yes, the 
the dots are connecting together. The previous games are coming into existence. I don't know I... what's happening. <laughs> You'll figure good. it out, please, okay. I'm sure. But yeah. Well, yeah, it's been really great. When have yeah. we? Did we talk about next Sunday? Yes, I believe I you say? said there was a couple of Sundays and then one Sunday that you couldn't do. Yes. Yes, I should be good for next Sunday. So we should be able to do that then. Excellent. Of course. I'll be an hour earlier from my perspective. Because that's yes, our day's time. Savings. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Well, Ooh. thank you so much, um, Ninja, for organizing. Special thanks to you. And thank you, Nuna and Morgan, for playing. It's been really Yay. fun. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching our nonsense. I'll stick this on YouTube at some point this week so people can catch up before the next session. Um, but yeah, I think we'll I think we'll say goodbye there. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, say goodbye, Ninja. Night night, everyone. Have a lovely rest of your evenings and days. Say goodbye, Nuna. Bye, Nuna. Say goodbye, Morgan. Morgan, or otherwise known as Edith. <laughs> Edith, say goodbye, Edith. <laughs> okay. See you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. I can't believe I'm named. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>